Hey guys, I am constantly telling you to read books. Um, and it's not just because I'm nagging you, even though I am slightly nagging you because, well, I'm a teacher, it's just kind of part of what I do. Um, it's because reading books is really, really good for you. Um, now the two reasons it is really, really good for you. Um, GCSE questions are getting longer. GCSE questions are getting a lot longer. So if in an exam you're faced with a kind of like a block of text and you're not used to reading a block of text because you're not used to reading books, um, then that's going to just, I mean, not, you might not even realise you're slightly freaked out, but it is going to freak you out ever. So it's like, you're going to look at that and go, oh, I don't like that question. And then maybe move on to a different question. So it's going to be good for you because it's going to get you used to reading stuff a lot. Now, the other reason it's going to be really good for you is because of your language um, skills. So books use a lot of complicated, a lot of different language, and so do exam questions. Um, now there's this question that comes up a lot, you know, when this reaction happens, what do you observe when you mix this and this? And so often students skip this question because they just don't understand what the word observe means. What it means see? What do you see when you mix this and this? And if I rephrase a question in a slightly different way, then students completely understand it. But this is going to be happening a lot more. The examiners are going to be using a lot more um, sophisticated language when they're asking exam questions. Um, just to kind of like, because they're not only testing your chemistry, they're kind of just testing you as a whole, which I know is mean because they should just be testing your science. Um, so we need to get your vocabulary up, we need to get used to reading large blocks of text. It has been shown, I will, I will find the link um, to the article somewhere and I'll put it down in the description. It has been shown that 15 minutes reading a day, and that is not a lot. You could do that like on the bus, okay? 15 minutes reading a day at break time, before bed, whenever you can find 15 minutes. Just 15 minutes reading a day will improve your GCSE grades by like a whole grade across the board. So please, please, please start reading books. Um, now to help you with this, I'm gonna kind of like restart my book club. I did a few like a year ago, then got busy. I'm gonna make a real, real effort to post like a book review um, once a month um, on a young adult book that I've read recently. Um, not a science book, just like a book that I enjoyed reading um, and hopefully you will enjoy reading it as well and then we can improve your grades.